We've thus seen the AND and OR operators within an IF function to check multiple criteria effectively. Now we can add into that mix the NOT operator that will effectively check a criteria and return true if the criteria is not met. So effectively the opposite. Now we can see this in action here if we use the NOT working file. Now this has the formula in that checks whether a person has passed, failed, gained merit or distinction based on all of their results actually reaching the grades. What we're now going to check is whether each exam has been an improved score. So they might still fail at the end of the year, but if they've been improving each time, then there's room for hope. So we need to do a little bit of an if again, so equals if, open brackets, and. Now what I want to check is that each new exam, so exam two effectively, is not lower than exam one, and exam three is not lower than exam two. So I need to check both of those. So I need an and because I'm checking two different sets of criteria. And then my first set of criteria is that not exam two is lower than exam one. And the not operator effectively just takes a criteria and checks that criteria. So if not C2 less than B2, I will get a true value. My second and criteria is that not, so exam three cannot be less than exam two. Close the not brackets, close the and brackets. And that's my whole condition for my if statement. That C2 cannot be less than B2, D2 cannot be less than C2. If both of these evaluate to true, then they have improved. So we can put comma, what will I put if it's true? We're going to say improving, comma, what to put if it's not true? No improvement. And then close the if statement. And there's no improvement for Jill. She went 45 to 65, but then she dropped back. So she was improving, but didn't improve. And if we replicate, we find that most of them, and only Zoe has been improving. So although she's actually failed the course, because she actually failed the first exam, but did quite well in the second and the third, she is improving. We feel fine about pushing her through to next year to resit exam one. Now we can use the not, not just in an and operator, but with the or. In the or sheet, we change the criteria here so that they were able to effectively pass any one of the exams to gain a pass, but the merit was based on an and and an or. They had to pass exam one, but then they could have passed either exam two or exam three. So if we want to make use of our not with an or statement, we could check if they've improved from one to two or one to three. So or not exam two less than exam one, close bracket. So again, the not has a single criteria, comma for the second or criteria, which is going to check that we have not got exam three less than exam one, close the not criteria, close the or criteria, comma within my if to say, well, if this evaluates the true, then they have improved. They haven't had to improve linearly from exam one through to exam two, through to exam three. They just have to have improved from exam one to exam two or from exam one to exam three. If they haven't even managed to improve either of those steps, then they've not really improved at all. Jill's improved. And Sally hasn't because he's actually started off very well and then dropped away. And John, he didn't start off very well, but he still dropped away. So he's not improved at all. The others have all improved from either exam one to exam two or from exam one to exam three. So these have been just to demonstrate the not operator. And the not operator takes a single criteria and returns true if that criteria is false. So it sort of turns things on its head, but can be quite useful when you're trying to ask the reverse question, as we are here.